Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll be unboxing ALF, the alien lifeform ultimate action figure. This is a little bit different from my usual content, but if you remember ALF from the 80s, the series, it was so fun, and I grew up with this, and when I found out you could buy ALF as a little action figure, I had to get it, and I thought I'd share it here on the channel, as no one else is really interested in it in my family, and I've got to share it with someone. It's so cool. Look at this. You get ALF. You've even got a cat in a baguette. He's got a shirt, lots of gadgets as well. So in this video, I'll unbox this ultimate action figure that I bought. And maybe you'll want one too, so you'll know exactly what to expect. So here it is, Alf. And on the front, you get a really good picture of him. A classic from the 80s. So fun. And I loved this series growing up. It was so good watching this. The 80s had so many good cartoons. So many iconic characters. It was just brilliant. But anyway, this is from a company called NECA. I just bought it on eBay. You can get it in all different places. I'll put a link in the description to Amazon if you want to check it out. But here's the one that I got. And on the back, you can see everything that's going to be included. If you don't know about Alf, Alf crash landed through the roof of the Tanner family's garage and into the hearts and homes of America's television viewers and the UK as well. I was watching this in the UK growing up. And here you can see some of the things you're going to get in the box. And at the bottom, it tells you you're going to get the shirt, the cat sandwich, soda can, sunglasses, ham radio, popcorn, bag of slime balls, picture frame and some interchangeable hands as well. OK, let's get this guy open up and see what we've got going on in here. Now, I haven't bought anything like this before and I'm certainly not going to keep him in the packaging. I think these things could well be designed for that just to keep on show. But I'm getting him out. He's going to be on display. I'm going to be posing him with all the different accessories as well. And here you can see with it open, you get another nice photo of the model itself with the popcorn sat on a sofa. And then all the contents of the box on the right hand side. I love that picture frame. So good. And then you've got all the little bits and pieces there. I noticed some of the paint had come off his nose there. You can see it's rubbed off on what looks like the inside of the plastic. Uh, so if you wanted to keep it in the plastic, that's a bit of an issue. These aren't cheap either. What, 30, 40 pounds? So not mucking about on price here. So you don't really expect that kind of thing. So that's a little bit of a shame. But I'm going to take him out anyway. So it doesn't really affect me. But I think if you were going to buy it to collect and leave in the box, that's something you'd be looking out for. Let's cut that seal then. We'll get Alf out and have a real close up look at the model and all the different features that come with him as well. So we just slide this main piece out. And then it looks like there's lots of those little plastic tags to contend with as well. So we'll get snipping those off in a moment. But here it is. So it comes out. You get this nice insert. And you can see these are all like the footprints or the underside of his feet. Got the shirt stuck at the back with a bit of tape. So we'll just get that off. And I'll give you a close up look at this print. This is pretty cool how they've done that with his footprints. Really like that. Nice. Just a bit of card though, really. Get, let's get that out of the way. Let's do the shirt first, we'll get that off. So it's just on the back and it's just stuck down, a little bit of tape to keep it in place. And then we'll grab the knife, we'll get that open, have a close up. And then this is gonna be great. If you wanna get him dressed up for any little photos or anything, then this is gonna be perfect. It's got buttons on there, but really it's Velcro inside. You got the arms, might have to take the hands off to get this on properly, we'll find out later. And then you get all these little plastic tags. So I'll just grab some snippers and then we can get trimming those off and then we can get Alf out of the plastic. There we go, that's all done. And here he is then, we can get him out now. And pretty big actually, and actually heavier than I thought. It's quite a chunky piece. A little bit disappointing, straight away the leg has come off. And that took some doing to really work that back into place. So that was a real shame. Again, if you're wanting to get this to collect and leave in the tub, that's not gonna have an effect. But if you wanna pose it, that's a real disappointment. So I was a bit gutted with that, but um, not to worry. We can get it back on there with some effort. But I also found the joints were really hard to bend. They twisted really easy because they just like pop in the little holes. But the joints, I really had to work them. The face is okay. You can move that, open and close his mouth. That's pretty straightforward. So no problem there. And, um, and that's fixed his eyebrows and hair. So it's just the jaw and you can turn his neck and his head around like that. But the arms and legs, those joints for the knees, elbows are solid. And in the end, I had to take the arms off and then really bend them. I had to use a little blade as well and scrape away perhaps some glue or paint that's got in there and just keep moving them a lot. Because I want to pose him. You've got all these different hands. You've got all the different components in there that you want to use it. So yeah, this doesn't even bend at all. I had to take the whole thing off and then really try and get it going. So that's a shame. And with the legs too, you can move the torso around really easy and then the tail's fixed in place. 
But it's not the end of the world. I mean, this isn't going to be something you're going to be able to do any like uh, stop motion with, I don't think, because it's just too hard to bend it. So if you were thinking of getting a model maybe like this from NECA range to do something like that, ALF at least, bear in mind it's the only one I've ever bought, it's, it's not going to be suitable. It's just too stubborn to move. The hands would be okay because you could twist them slowly, maybe the mouth, but certainly not the arms and legs. To take the hands off, you just give it a bit of a tug and it's like a little peg that goes in, you can see there in the hole. And then you just grab one of the other hands and then you can just push that in place. You have to be quite rough with this, really force it in. And then once it's in there, it'll twist around, no problem. Same goes for the arm, that's gonna have a little peg as well. And you can see as I tried to bend it, it just came right out. So that, that was the biggest, toughest joint there on that arm, that really took some shifting. I had to use a blade, pliers at the end just to get it to move so a little bit of a shame but it still didn't really affect it he's just going to sit on my desk and occasionally change position so it's no big deal for me let's have a look at all the other pieces then here we've got the fusco soda can looking good very nice these they've done a great job on these little bits and then we've got the ham radio there that's awesome again really nice all these little details have been done very well on it so happy with that and it's just really fun to get something like this and just remind you of your childhood. It's really awesome. And then you've got a little picture. This is great. And you can put it up, maybe it's some blue tack and put it on like some kind of wall. But it's got the stand as well. So you could just stand it up if you wanted to, which I think is a really nice touch. Then you've got the bag of slime balls there. So I don't know what you're going to do with those. There we are. They look good. And then you've also got a big bowl of popcorn as well and with the different hands and I managed to pose him as you'll see later on with the arm you can actually get him to hold this so that works then we've got the sunglasses I'm really glad they included those proper 1980 sunglasses and you can see I think there's a little gap where his quiff goes his hair where you can just pop that through and then you can put it in with a little bit of playing around I'm sure you could get it in place but yeah iconic Alf with his iconic 80s sunglasses and then we've got the baguette with the cat in there. Of course, he used to try and eat the cat all the time, which is a big feature of the show, and you'd see that all the time. He always got caught at the last minute, though, so he never quite got away with it. Then you've got all the different hands, so you can pose these in different ways, which is fun. And all together, you're going to get five extra hands. So you've got the right and left here with the pointing fingers, and this is good because he can hold things like that ham radio as well, the microphone, and then you've got these two ready to go so maybe it looks like he's dipping into the popcorn or holding the can and then this one's probably for the can actually a little bit bigger and there so that would just be the one left hand in that pose and again they've got little bendy bits as well but really stubborn all around but there you go that's the elf action figure and all the components that come in the box and hopefully this has given you a good idea about what to expect maybe you never bought anything like this before like me and wanted to find out you know what do you actually get what quality is it like and I must say, a little disappointed in how hard it is to bend those arms. And again, if you wanted to do some live action, it's just not going to work. But the shirt's good. You can dress him up in that. The Velcro works nicely. I think the detail in all of these little components is nice. And the character himself looks great. As you'll see in some pictures in a minute, he can stand up. You can sit him down. You can do all sorts with him. Just takes a little bit of manipulation. But I'm happy. And I think this is going to be really fun to add him to my desk. And here he is sat with his popcorn so you can see you can sit him down you've got the branding underneath the foot there as well and there he is with some different hands and i've got a little table there with the the cat in the baguette that he's having a look at iron up and then there's the ham radio change the hand again open the mouth a little bit and you can position that microphone in his hand so you can actually hold on to it so that's a nice touch and then you've got all the different bits here, the other bits, the photo. I really like that photo, it looks awesome. The can, the glasses, and again, you can stand him up. He can free stand. As long as you twist the legs just right, then he'll stand up no problem with the pointing finger as well. Could be quite fun. I really like him in the shirt. I think he looks great. Just so funny. Just reminds me of so many cool memories from when I was a kid. I think this is just fantastic. But everything you get in the box now, all laid out, out standing up, dressed up, ready to go. As always, thank you so much for your support, helping me to keep going with these daily videos and supporting the sponsors of the channel as well. It's just fantastic that you click on these links and use them. It really helps. Helps these independent companies. Helps me. You make some great savings on awesome products and everyone's happy. 
If you'd like to check out something else I've got going on at the moment, I've just started the TTSG podcast with episode one with Marco Picota. That's up on the YouTube channel and Spotify. I'll put links down below. I've got some great guests lined up and I'll be doing this every week. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. This isn't something I'm going to be doing any more of, I don't expect, unless I do buy something cool in the future. But I just had to share Alf. It's so fun. And so hopefully this will bring back some good memories for you too. So thanks again. If you liked the video, it'd be awesome if you hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you and I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.